some excavation, uh, kind of an elementary excavation techniques on uh, units that are near the surface in sandy deposits that still have archaeology but are easier to learn the processes of the trade. So you learn how to trowel, uh, excavate, how to record artifacts that are in situ, uh, how to fill out paperwork, all of those kinds of uh, small complexities that together build to get you to a point where you can go out and work in this as a professional archaeological technician. But then after they get that stage of development, then we start putting them in the deep, very complex excavation units so that they work on some of the best archaeology in the most complex and difficult settings that they'll probably experience in their lifetimes. It's definitely hard work. Yeah, I'm not going to deny that. Um, but it's been fun. It, you have a lot of learning and it's very meticulous. Um, but it's invaluable of an experience, I'd say. Because, yeah, you're literally out here eight and a half hours a day. Um, and you're, do, you're, like, you're working in units that even in field archaeology you don't always get to do. So these are our journals. And we're documenting everything that we do every day. So this includes like the measurements from our units. Uh, it includes if there's a change in sediment, if like we messed up and like over dug a corner or if there's anything different than what it should be. Um, it was really neat. Um, one day, a little, little different than most of my days, I got to excavate um, what we call Unit 49 and over here along the rock shelter and we actually found a hearth with um, in situ put like left in place charcoal and then I was finding big charcoal chunks in the screen and you could see the um, fire marks on the rock and it was just so cool to just see that in person and to like have a hand in excavating it to help catalog that. Um, you know, there's uh, a fair few scorpions out here, but it, they're no worse than a bee sting. These guys are pretty harmless. Um, there's always the concern of rattlesnakes, um, but just leave them alone, and you're fine. They're not gonna they're not gonna hunt you. So it had been a great season, and we hadn't found anything that was really exceptional we found some stone tools and things that were interesting but nothing that was telling us that we we're way way back in time and then on the very last day of excavation the students had been drilling and splitting big chunks of boulders out of there so they could get into this one area and dig underneath this rock and, and when they got the boulders out broke through and started excavating they found a camel incisor, a lower incisor of an uh, extinct animal, and uh, it was the support that we had been looking for uh, for the camel tooth enamel fragments that we found in 2012. So at the very end of this, the, the very last day of the season in 2021, they put us into a place through a lot of hard work that got us that, that incisor which will allow us to date that piece of material in association with the other dates.